So Xinjiang is a home wear and furniture brand. Olivia Lee Studio is a multidisciplinary studio. Waha being emerged out of Waha Architects, which is a firm that's been in existence for 25 years. We're a Singapore company and we're inspired by our rich Asian heritage and culture. And we try to take that to make it a bit more contemporary so that it's more suitable for urban homes of today. We work on very diverse projects from product design to retail design, but also design research and art direction. We actually developed a very large back catalogue of furniture and objects. We knew there was a demand for Woha products, but they weren't available in the market. So we set up Woha Bing as a mechanism to bring these products to market. So one of the consultants we were paired with under the Business of Design program was Nathan Yong. And right from the start, we had very open and transparent communication with each other where he um, identified what our pain points were. Through the program, we actually got to see an end-to-end -end holistic approach to what we can do with our brand. Um, rather than just being very specific to design a collection, for example. Our studio was linked with Tony Chambers as our in-market consultant. His insights and his advice are particularly nuanced to our sector and he's able to bring a perspective that marries both what our creative understands and also the business context of our industry. Our consultant Rita is based in Italy and very familiar with the whole supply chain in Italy, um, the specialist manufacturers, the way uh, products are marketed and um, supplied to retailers uh, and not just in furniture but across the whole design spectrum. The Business of Design program has presented an opportunity for us that maybe on our own or as a starting brand we would not have even thought of pursuing you know, a consultant or or an in-market expert um, in this area could always ask from these consultants who have had all these years of experience and can sort of steer us in the, in the direction that they think would be beneficial for us. My trip to Europe was a whirlwind affair. In one week, we went to Copenhagen, Paris and Stockholm with the benefit of Tony's network that we were able to meet with many high-level executives we never thought we'd have the opportunity to meet. And most valuably, it was these in-depth conversations and face-to-face -face sessions that are so critical for relationship building. In working with the Business of Design Consultant, we had a really useful epiphany where what we thought was our difficulty perhaps or something that was hard to explain which was we were an architectural practice that we're now moving into product design. We at Xinxiang believe that Xinxiang is a way of life, it's not just furniture and homeware. So through this program we actually have allowed this vision to to come, become more real for us. We found a maker partner who actually had the technical expertise and experience in making rattan furniture, uh, rattan, aluminium and other sustainable woven materials. So from this, we actually designed this whole collection made of these new materials, creating a whole new product offering. So through working with the consultant, I think we have a very professional and business-friendly um, outcome. And we're looking forward, once uh, COVID is over, uh, being able to meet with potential partners and move Wohabeng into its next phase. After going through the Business of Design program, uh, we have quite a different idea of the future of Wohabeng. Uh, we are very clear now that we can focus on doing what we love, which is creating unique designs, often located in a particular project or location and with a very clear uh, customer. And now with the reconceptualization of the business, we can really focus on that. Uh, so we see ourselves in the future doing what we love and doing what we enjoy, making more designs and uh, hopefully generating income through our licensing business. Uh, of what happening. I think for anyone you know interested to join the Business of Design program, I think it's really important that studio or practice already has some sort of vision for themselves and to think of BOD like an accelerator of where they see themselves. It is a program that that gives as much as you put into it as well. It's a dialogue, it's not a one-way um, solution. I think that COVID definitely has affected the plans for expansion uh, globally. We can't just go to the old trade shows like before. So actually what Nathan has done is that he's introduced us to business contacts overseas and we've met them through Zoom meetings. And actually the Zoom meetings have been quite productive uh, in meeting people that we would not have met otherwise. It could be also different ways of working like for example, getting us to design a collection for business partners overseas and getting the items we produce uh, in China itself. We founded Wohabing to create delightful, meaningful, ethical objects 
Our dream for Woha Being is we find a wonderful licensing partner who will help us share these objects with the world. I think through what we've learned, we've seen that there is a clear and growing appetite and need for poetry, wonder, and romance and design, not just in Europe, but also Asia too.